Jacob Wagers of Woodrow, Colorado. We're in a dry land environment at about 4,600 feet elevation. I farm with my, with my brother Jolin, my brother Justin, my mom Jeannie, and, and each one of us is married and our wives play a, a nice role in the family farm. We uh, rotate wheat, corn, and prozo millet in a no-till rotation. We produce uh, wheat, winter wheat, corn, and prozo millet. We have a crop rotation of two out of three years to three out of four years with a fallow system in there. We've been uh, no-till farmers since the uh, probably the mid-80s is when the conversion started with my dad. Into the 1990s we were full no-till process. Uh, we use primarily uh, John Deere Air Seeder 1890 disc drill, single disc drill, and uh, John Deere regular 24 row corn planter. And uh, 4940 sprayer. We do everything on a tram line system so that the uh, sprayer makes the exact same passes. In fact, we use uh, tram lines on every angle. Every side of our field is already pre programmed in, so every unit returns to the field uses the same lines on every side every time. It's a pretty effective system with that. Uh, we're low, low rainfall, uh, 13 to 15 inches a year, makes uh, even no tilling uh, an adventure. Uh, the residue on the soil has definitely aided in the fact that it's helped us diversify into prozo millet. Uh, corn is definitely still a, a crop that takes a lot of management to make it successful on the minimal amount of water. You have to be good on your weed control, uh, proper uh, residue management to get to that point to even become a corn farmer. Um, it's very feast and famine. We can do more with less rain. We're at a higher elevation than uh, our counterparts in Kansas. We're at 46 to all the way. Our farm goes 46 to 4,800 feet, but we sell corn seed into 6,200 feet environments. And so the amount of moisture it takes in those different environments can change based on the heat units in that area and less, lesser heat units in our drought prone environment can actually be favorable which is backwards to Midwest where they talk needing the heat units to make the bumper corn yield. Sometimes out here less heat is the key for evapotranspiration to take less of a toll on the crop. So there's lots of quirks. The rainfall is very sporadic. I mean this end of the field can be an inch of rain and a quarter mile away can be nothing. So there's lots of variability that has to be sorted out year to year. Uh, but when things get together right, we can produce a, what we consider a bumper crop and we can have uh, failures at the same time.